Hey guys and welcome back to another Eye Contrast video, bringing you somewhat of a different video in GT Sport. We're going to be showing you how to actually upload vector images onto the GT Sport website without them being invisible or too big for the file size or any other issue etc. We're going to be showing you the easy way to do it rather than using Inkscape or Photoshop or any other program like that unless you want to make your own image before uploading it that's the only reason why you'd need to use Photoshop otherwise we're gonna take an image from the internet such as this monster energy logo we have downloaded right here and then once we have downloaded that logo we're going to go onto this website called image vectorizer now the thing with image vectorizer is when you're uploading an image it's best to try and keep the colors to a minimum because that's the benefit of vectors is that you can scale up the image without it having a loss of quality as it uses mathematical calculations but the downside is it can't really hold as many colors and it's not as capable as a bitmap image so that way we're going to have to keep it simple with the colors and now we're going to drop it down into four max colors now once you've uploaded your image you want to try and follow these settings as close as possible but they may need to be adjusted according to what your logo needs so this logo is predominantly one color and I'm removing the background also to make the file size smaller and now we're going to try and remove the blur and all that sort of stuff etc so that way the logo remains crisp you don't have to use a logo you can create an image in Photoshop like I've already said keep the colors simple and you will be sweet so another thing if you got a complicated image you might want to split it into two and then upload it as two separate images it's totally up to you the way you do it just know that if you have more than three or four colors then you might have issues trying to do this method you do have to keep the file size under 15 kilobytes I believe before you start uploading it into this GT website right here. As you can see there's two other images that I've uploaded to this website and now we're going to drag that downloaded image we downloaded from the image vectorizer and we're going to put it straight into the GT Sport website. Check that box and then upload it and as you can see we do not have any issues once it's done. And now it's up there along with the other two images. One thing I might also add is a setting on the Image Vectorizer website called the Min Pixel Size Area, I believe. Um, you might want to adjust that depending on how detailed your logo is and how complex the different sorts of shapes and pieces are close together. This might also help reduce your file size. But now to actually show that it works, we're going to go onto the game now. And now we're going to go onto the decal editor, go into user decals right there. And now we're going to open up and see all our decals that we've uploaded onto the website. And as you can see, there's the Monster Energy logo we downloaded from the image vectorizer. And it works nicely. We're just going to put it onto the car just to show you what it looks like. And as you can see, it works nicely. So if you like this video, if you found it helpful, leave a like and subscribe for more content. I also make videos on the F1 2017 game. We do league racing and it's all clean and fast competitive stuff. If you want to check that out, be sure to check out the rest of my channel and I will see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.